Welcome to Spirit Corps. I'm Merritt. We hope this story, inspired by our one-act play, Freedom Train, can remind us to be grateful for freedoms we often take for granted. And we'd love for you to share a moment that made you truly appreciate the rights and privileges you have. Hashtag Spirit Corps, together we grow. Until she was 29, Harriet Tubman lived as a slave. For her, all those years, freedom was just a dream. Her story led Lance to realize how lucky he is to enjoy one freedom he loves as much as any in his life. Hello, my name's Lance, and this is my story of gratitude for an important freedom in my life. What could a blank stare from a bunch of teenagers teach me about being thankful? It turns out quite a bit. I love reading and have since before I can remember. Books always seem to be part of my life and I truly love what writers can do with words. The feel of a book in my hands, even the smell of them I find comforting. I love being in bookstores and in libraries. They've always been sort of a second home to me. In school, I had friends who also loved to read and I had friends who did not like to read. But overall, where I grew up, people valued books and education highly. I knew there were many in the world who couldn't go to school, who were never taught to read, but it seemed like everyone around me could read, so it didn't seem special or like it was a privilege. I took it for granted, until one cold morning, it's about 8 a.m., and I'm standing in front of a group of dead-eyed eighth graders, talking about Harriet Tubman and her fight for her people about the challenges, the dangers, and the constant fears she faced. And she did all this without knowing how to read at first. I find this incredible, and it makes Harriet even more heroic to me. But my students that morning could not have cared less. Then I got a flash. I asked them, how many of you think it's kind of a drag, at least on some days, to come to school? This woke them up, and a lot of the hands raised at least a little. How many of you feel like reading for homework is kind of a pain? Now some of them were grinning guiltily and the hands raised a little higher. I kept going. Okay, I get that. I've felt that way too, some days. But here's the thing. The people in the Underground Railroad who were slaves were not allowed to read. And many of those that could read had to hide it. You know why? I had their attention now. Because reading and writing is power. Those that were kept from reading back then would have clawed tooth and nail to get into this classroom for the privilege of the education that most of us take for granted. You could hear a pin drop. In that quiet, I had a moment of feeling foolish. How had I not seen this for more than 40 years? But then I was flooded with a wave of gratitude for those that gave me this gift, and I saw it for the gift it was. I also realized in this instant that I was able to choose almost entirely what I read. There are many places in the world where you are told what to read and you have very few choices. This was absolutely the case for Harry Tubman and her family before they escaped slavery. I have to say, I kind of love that it took a group of tired teenagers and Harriet's story to wake me up to the incredible freedom that I've enjoyed for this part of my life I love so much. Since that day, I am deeply thankful for being able to read and also for the chance to love it. Thank you for listening. Please share your story of gratitude for a freedom you have and tag at Spirit Series USA and hashtag Spirit Corps. Together, we grow.